Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is David Hopkins. I'm a student and I'm 15. Welcome back to an episode of Fitlog. Okay, as you have seen in the title and also in the thumbnail of this video, you already know what I'm gonna talk about today. So today we're gonna talk about Yes, as you know, time management. What comes in your mind when you think about time management? You may think that, oh yes, I can do this, I can do that. I can finish my work on time. I can do my homework, I can do anything, and blah blah blah, whatsoever. So today, I'll just tell you simple, on three things, how we can manage our time properly. So I'll tell you these three things, simple yet powerful okay so yeah let's get straight like into it let's go to number one okay yes number one you may think how am i manage my time how can i manage my time why is it so hard i've done a research that even most adults, okay, most adults can't even manage their time. I've done a research. Now, I'll tell you number one. Number one is have your goals. Have your daily goals. Okay, know what are you doing today? Before you sleep at night, maybe you think, oh, tomorrow I have Maybe, for example, if you're a student, I have class, I'm a student. But some of you have class, for example, art class, math class, probably uh, science class, physics, or what. Prepare. Know what are you going to do tomorrow. Don't like, the morning wake up, come tomorrow, and you're like, oh, what? What's today? What's the agenda today? I don't know. So have your goals, okay? No. For example, tomorrow, you know, 1 o'clock, you have art class. Then you haven't finished your math homework, but your math homework it's it's not meant to be submitted today, probably tomorrow. So maybe like when you finish lunch at for some you have lunch at twelve, you finish your lunch probably thirty minutes. Maybe you can do your homework. You can manage your time. Later at night you can have a lot of things. For example, also same at work. Okay. At work. Manage your time, know when, for example, your client or what call you or they ask you to do something and you know it's not important, then do that is only important. That's why, plan your goals, know what are you doing today. Don't just come in the morning and think, oh what, I have what, I have what. Know your meeting, but we put a calendar or have a note by yourself. Okay, number one, take your goals. Have daily goals, okay? If you don't have daily goals, you don't know what you're doing, you cannot make your time. Okay, simple, straightforward. Number two, let's go. Okay, number two. What is number two on how we can manage our time? Number two is put every single thing that distracts you okay put every single thing away that distract you you may think this is like why why is this even how well it's easy okay i will tell you this distracting thing is very powerful. For example, you have your phone beside you. You may think, uh, just play phone. I have time later. Trust me, you cannot, never can manage your time if you don't put away anything, anything distract you. For example, you're gonna do paperwork. You have your laptop beside you. You do not need your laptop. What do you do? Put it away. Just put it in your bag. Just, just throw it out. It will make things time 
For example, like we open our phone, we think, oh, it's okay. I think just one video, one video lah, one video, one video. At the end, you watch three videos. Three videos, how many minutes? Forty-five minutes. See, you wasted your time. Wasted, wasted, wasted. You cannot manage your time. That's why, have your goals, and then put away anything that distracts. Your phone, your PC, your PC, yes, your laptop, or anything. Put it away. You finish your goals, finish your target, know what you're going to do today, then go ahead, play. Okay? But where did you? Number three. Let's go. Number three, the last one, and I think it is important. Okay, what is number three? Number three is be optimistic. Do your best. Don't be pessimistic. Don't be. Don't like feel like oh I cannot do it. Why is this subject so hard? Why is my work so hard? Remember, when you start to do something, think why you start it. For example, you work at a restaurant. Think why at first place I work at a restaurant. What's my mission? What is my vision? What I'm trying to do? What I want to do? Okay, if you know, then do your best. Believe that you can do it. Have spirit of optimism. You believe you can do it, okay? So same as you, be optimistic, endure, persevere. You know you can do it, and do your best, okay? Don't give up. Trials are just you. Believe me, you can do it, okay? So. Remember these three things that I told you today. First is set your daily goals. Number one. Number two, put every single thing to distract you. That's number two. Number three, and the last, be optimistic. Believe you can do it. Okay. So you already know those three things, and I hope you like this video. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you. I think next time. So make sure if you like my videos, you want to know more, or maybe you like a topic like this. You like me talking about topic of this. Make sure to put down the comments below. Comments below. Okay. So I think that's all about it. Uh, I hope you enjoy your day. Stay safe. Stay healthy.